sir. We have written that. We have brought us over. How many of you know what you never could have made without him? Grace is sufficient. Yeah. Amen. He may not all that was out of the storm. Right. But aren't you glad that his grace is sufficient? Oh, yeah. Whatever that we're going through, trust God. Yeah. Yeah. Trust yeah. the Lord. With all thy heart and lean not into thy own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him. Yeah. And he shall not wreck our path. Yeah. Amen. So pray. Amen. For all those that are sick and shed. Amen. Lift them up before the Lord in prayer. Amen. Others who are being changed. Amen. We pray for them. Amen. So pray. Amen. For Sister Marie Smith. Amen. Her family. Amen. For Dean Curtis Smith. Amen. Pray for them. Their daughters are assisting them. Amen. This morning. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to give out any more details. Amen. Amen. Just pray for the family. Amen. Amen. Sex in this point, she said, Pastor, just pray for us, amen. And amen. God knows the reason. He knows yes, the reason. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 God will comfort and strengthen the only man I have. Pray for Sister Mason. Uh, last week I had when she was going to get her eye looked at it. And so pray for Sister Mason. Amen. And the challenges that she faced in her life. Amen. She's strong in the faith. Amen. Pray for her. Amen. She said, Pastor, I can't come right now. But I do watch the services on one, so pray for Sister Mason. Yeah, amen. amen. And I will comfort her and give her strength. Amen. Pray for Sister Fuller. Amen. It's good to see her this morning. Amen. 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 Pray for her mother and father. Amen. All right, all right. Before the Lord in prayer. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. And Sister Annie Wilson for all her sick that she goes out and visiting. And I made contact with Sandra on yesterday. Sandra Jackson, I mean, we had prayer. Amen. She missed my call, but she did call me back. I and mean, we had prayer yesterday before I left the church. And we had, I said, Annie been getting on me by not calling you. So I said, Amen, let me call you. Amen. To have prayer with her. She was in good spirits and she was doing pretty good. So the church and pray for Sister Sandra Jackson. Amen. Reverend Alvin Trailer, he's with us today. You know, keep him lifted up before the Lord in prayer. Brother Mac Perkins, Sister, Sister William May Smith, amen. Those who can, amen, go by and see her. Amen. She'll be glad to see you, amen. So please go by and check on her. She's one of our senior members, amen. The Senate Nursing Facility, amen. Really can't do anything. But amen. God is able, amen. And we just going to do her good to see your smiling face. Amen. Sister Mary Lucas, amen. It's good to see you <clears throat> this morning. Amen. Sister Lucas comes to church. Amen. We'll pray to God for you being here a moment today. Sister Lakeisha Rudd, amen. Keep her lifted up before the Lord in prayer. And also Sister Opal Jones, amen. Sister Jones, amen. We'll keep Sister Jones lifted up in prayer. And the Reverend Trailer asks us to pray for the Skinner and Fl Fleming family. Amen. Pray for them. Amen. Pray for my family also keep us, amen, on the prayer list. Because God is able. Yes, he is. He's able to do what nobody else can do. Amen. That's right, God. Pray. Amen. Pray for them. Pray for Nigga Hamilton and his wife. His, uh, his not his mother, but his, uh, aunt, his wife's aunt, Sister Hattie Smith. We'll be free on lunch tomorrow at 11 a.m. Amen. So pray for that family. Amen. Sister Shannon, we pray for you. Amen. That God will comfort the family, the Allridge and Smith family. Through their time of bereavement, because God is able yes, 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 to do what yes, nobody else can do. So put your trust in the Lord. Yes. Amen. When we think about what He's done in times past, yes. God is able to bring us through even now. And now let me just remind you of the activities of our church on the second Sunday of next month. I'm asking the church if they would go with us to the Mount Zion Baptist Church in Greenwood, Texas. Amen. Pastor Knight, Bishop Knight is the pastor. He's invited us to come and be a part of his three o'clock program. Amen. It's a men's day program, but I want my whole choir to go, women and men. Amen. So next, uh, not next Sunday, but the uh, second Sunday in October. Amen. We'll be traveling to Greenville, Texas. Amen. To be with Pastor Knight and his church. 
in Greenville. I think Sister Anderson is from Greenville, Texas. Amen. Amen. And she know where Mount Zion Baptist Church is. Amen. So we go to Amen next Amen next month, the second Sunday. And then on the third Sunday, Amen, we will celebrate our church anniversary. Amen. Amen. And next month. Amen. Start telling others that previous members who was a part of this local assembly start inviting them, amen, calling them and texting them and inviting them to come out at 3 o'clock on next Sunday, and not next Sunday, but the third Sunday in October to be a part of our church anniversary. And we want to fill the house up, amen? Amen. amen. We want to fill the house up. So start telling others, amen, and inviting them to come out and be a part of, though know, they might be serving in other churches now, but we just want to see them, amen, cut back, amen, and be a, and be a part of our three o'clock program on next, uh, the next third Sunday in October, amen, the church will celebrate 60 years, yes, sir. Amen. amen, somebody ought to say amen, amen, on next, amen, next third Sunday in October, October 20th is that date, and the Sunday that we go to Greek will be October the 13th, so we have two, one outing out of town, and we'll come back on the third Sunday, the 20th, and celebrate our church anniversary on October the 20th. Amen. So amen. let's just praise God and thank God for all the many blessings. Amen. We're almost at the end of the year. Amen. We thank God for how that he has brought us and how that he has kept us. So yes, pray. Amen. Mightily for all that we know that step the needs of our prayers and pray for our church. Amen. Yes, we are a small congregation, but we do great things for the Lord. Amen. Yes, and I thank God. Amen. For our new members, Sister Crystal and her family that joined on that came to last Sunday. And thank you. And God is adding to the church. Amen. Families, amen. We thank God for them. They came this morning for new member orientation. We thank God for them. Amen. God is a good God. Amen. And just allow God to do what He's doing. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Raise it up. Amen. And blessing this church in a very special continue to pray. Amen. For our church, amen. Pray for our children. Pray for our schools. Amen. We're oh, early in the year of our school system, but it's a lot of things that went on. Amen. 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 Pray for our children. Pray for our school system. Amen. amen. Until we put God first in all that we do, we're going to continue to fail. Amen. When they took prayer out of school, amen. It seemed like the school went haywire. Yeah. Amen. amen. And now we, if we ever needed you, we show up. Oh, amen. Yes. amen. amen. Teachers and Administrators and students, they've been as much security as they have in school, they still can't keep That's the school safe. That's they right. Licensed, amen. Peace officers to walk around the school, but they can't be everywhere, amen. They have security, better than temper, but still guns get into our children's hands, amen. It's just a hard thing, amen. When you think about it, no purpose for the call on the day that they're a child, amen, is an active shooter on campus, amen. So pray about our children, amen. And the teachers, amen, because, amen. The teacher will teach somebody else's child, amen, that's that parents right, sent to school. Right. That the God will give them a heart, amen, for every child and teach them like it's their own child. Because, amen, we don't want our children to be left behind in nothing that they do, amen. Give my child the best education, amen. The best treatment they can get in school, amen. Amen. Education is what they need, amen. Because it takes all of us to make it work out together, amen. All right, all right. This morning, we're going to look at Psalms 27, verse 14. Right. Psalms 27, verse 14. Amen. Psalms chapter. Psalm number 27, amen. It's not a chapter, but Psalms 27 and 14. Will you pray for the man of God? Pray for the preacher, amen. Pray for God's will to be done, amen. Psalms number 27, verse 14. Amen. You're happy the Lord, won't you say amen? Amen. amen. This time, amen, our choir will come back. Amen. And bless us for some selection. After the priest, Reverend Trader will come and share up in the offering of prayer. Amen. And then we will come back and look into the word of God for this time. This time, we'll see our choir with a great amen. Amen.
Thank God for another day's journey. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all the selections that the choir has made this morning. I don't know how much you heard or what they were singing. Sister Warren, you lifted my spirit. Amen. And I thank God for what he's doing and, and uh, because I know whatever he does is good. That's right, that's right. There's no doubt in my mind that we might not understand it right now. But one of these days we will. In the body and so many good things have taken place this morning that I can't name them all, but when my mind goes back to the Sunday school lesson where Hezekiah prayed, he went to the temple when trouble came his way. All right, all right. And the Lord answered his cry. Yes, he did. He's the same God. Yes. He's still sitting high and he's still sitting low. Yes. He hears us. Yes. Whether we believe it or not, that's why it's without faith. Why? Impossible. It's impossible mm -hmm. to please him. Okay. So I thank God for if you're gonna follow him, mm -hmm. you must have faith. The unseen hand of God is all around us. Where Hezekiah went to the temple, but the Spirit of God lives within us. In our temple, to where we can go to Him anytime. So that's why we all to, He's everywhere at the same time. So, so much is still going on from yes, one day to the next. Yes. So we don't know what's coming up and we don't know, we know that yesterday is gone. Yes, yes. And all of us know that tomorrow is not promised. Yes, but one thing, the only thing that we have to go is right now. Yes. So that's why we ought to just praise Him while we have chance. So we so many things have happened since last Sunday, this this Sunday. We got word this morning, Sister Shutter Hampton on the pass. And I even got a call on last evening that my aunt in Tucson is actually my wife's aunt in Tucson, Arizona pass on last evening. Classmate of mine. Pass on last week, even on yesterday. I'm quite sure that some of you heard about the accident over on Silver Stewart Road. Yes, 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 All around us, there is trouble. That's right. We thank God for Him delivering us yes, to come back to His house yes. one more time. Well, none of us know it might be our last time. We don't know. Right. But one thing about it, we have the victory. As long as we can keep our trust in the Lord. We can't see him, but I know he's here. So true. And he answers every one of our prayers. If you have time to wait. So many names have been called this morning, and we know that God knows all about them. He can hear your cry, whatever you stand in need of. Just take it to the Lord. For that's why I thank God for the mercy seat. Mercy seat, you know, God will give us what we deserve, but because of His mercy and His grace. He allowed us to keep 
on living. Yeah. Keep on loving one another. So true. Yes, yes. I just want to say one other thing. We're moving on is that there are so many names that's on the prayer list and we are not there to try to call them out, but we know that God is here and he knows what's going on. So that's why we are to not only be hearers of the word, but become doers also. You don't have to tell nobody or wear a cross around your neck. You don't have to tell nobody. You just live the way God Just do what we are, doer of the word. That's it, that's it. And not a hero only. Trust the Lord. Not only on Sunday, but trust Him every step of the way. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. We want to ask all who can stand with us. And while I'm praying and you're praying, we ask that you will petition the Lord for your family, for your own Amen. desire. I don't know what you need, but God does. Yes, he does. So we want to pray for not only for Zion, but for the right, for the entire world. Jews and Gentiles yes. all over the world. Yes. Yes. We all need the same God. Let us go to the Lord now in prayer. Eternal God our Father, the maker and the creator of all mankind. We come now, Lord, in the precious name of Jesus to say thank you, Master. Thank you for all that you're doing in each of our lives. Thank you for watching over us on last evening and we tossed and turned, we slept and slumbered. But you allowed us to wake up this morning in our right mind with a reasonable portion Thank you, Lord. of life, health, and strength. Yes. To see a day that we've never seen before and we shall never see again. So we come, Lord, to say thank you, Lord. All of your blessings that you have showered upon each of us. For we know, Father, that the, the way is not easy, Lord. But you said that you are the way. You are the truth and you are the life. Thank you. So whatever is needed this morning, we ask that you would meet every need oh, yeah. this morning. Yeah. Give strength this morning, girl. There need to be strength. Yes, Give comfort, Father. To the families, Lord, help in the time of trouble. We come now, Lord, as all as we know how. Say thank you for your amazing grace. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up and letting us see a day, Father, that we shall never see again. We thank you for all who have come to your house of worship this morning. And all we pray, O Father, that we all
right now. In the name of Jesus. Touch us all, Lord. Touch us right now. We and all of us are clean heart. And renew a right spirit in all of us. Help us love one another as you have loved us. For you say in your word, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Not only as we come, we thank you for adding to the church.
send your power and bless you, Lord. Yes, Lord. To be in the hands of an almighty God. Yeah. Take care of us. Day by day, we never could have made it without you. But Lord, thank you for finding us in our lostness and bringing us into the safety of your arms. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Lord, I was lost on my way to hell. Had no God on my mind. But thank you for Jesus Christ that found us in our lost things and brought us into the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Lord, we were blind, could not see. Thought we had it going on in our own world. Lord, thank you for Jesus, the light of the world. Thank you for Jesus that died on the cross that we might have a right to the tree of life. Now, Lord, help that service on this morning. Lord, we thank you for every song. We thank you for every scripture. Now, Lord, bless your preach words. Father God, if I'm too high, Lord, be to the right things. If I'm too low, bring me up. Father God, if people see less and less of me, and more and more of you, Father God, you said in your word, and if I be lifted up, that I'll draw all men unto me. So, Lord, have that own way in this place on um, today. To the end, Lord, that we will give you all praise, God, and glory. Now let the very words of my mouth, the meditations of thy heart, be accepted in thy sight. For Lord, you are my strength, and you are my redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. And all the people of God said, Amen. 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 Psalms chapter 27, Psalms 27, verse 14. Just that one verse at the very end of that psalm. Psalms 27 and 14. A word of encouragement for all of us today. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thy hearts. And he said the same thing that he started this up out with. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Amen. I don't know who this message is for, but it was for me this week. Amen. Wait on the Lord. Amen. Wait on the Lord. One verse, put it that. One verse, these wings is packed full of stuff yeah. that remind us that you can't hear it, God. Right. Right. Amen. God's timing is not our timing. Right. Yeah. And sometimes all we can do is just wait. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. God's time, is, amen. He has all time to work it out. Yeah. And God is able to work it. How many of you know that God is able? Amen. God is able to work it out. And his timing is not our time. Amen. Amen. We want God to do it right now and right now and right now. But amen, when I think about it, amen, when I, as I was wondering about this message, amen, everywhere that we go, we have to wait. You're right. You're right. Amen. We get in our car. Wherever that we go, there's a stop sign. There's a red light. There's traffic. Yes, sir. Amen. We have to wait. Right. Right. Amen. We don't always get the alert about the wreck down the road until we in the traffic. That's right. And then we get an alert. Amen. There's a wreck yeah. down the road. But that's after we're in the traffic. That's right. That's right. And sometimes life is just like that, isn't it? You're right. Sometimes, so before we don't we don't see the tragedy down the road until we're in the midst of it. Right. Right. Amen. The boss of the way. Yeah. When I think about it, amen, you can follow it, amen, there's someone I talk about, wait on your best friend, amen, wait on your best buddy, but he said, wait yeah. on somebody that they can help you out, yeah. amen, because the best that you can do is just listen to my problem, yeah. and amen, when you leave me, you go and tell everybody else about what's going on in my life, yeah. but I'm What's going on? 
you'll never be last in your life. You put it first. Amen. Where is God in your life today? I don't know. But if he's not first, you need to make him your very first priority. Because we can't make it without him in our lives. We stand there to extend the invitation. If there's one here this morning who never before put their trust in Jesus, today is a mighty good day for you to come and to give your life to Jesus Christ while the blood is running warm in your veins.
our Father in heaven times. Lord, you made us, you created us, and we pray for this family now. You know, Lord, what they're going through. And we just pray for your grace and your mercy on their lives. Lord, that you work it out according to your will and your purpose. Because, Lord, we know that everything in life is for a purpose and a reason. So, Lord, we don't doubt what you're doing, but we just trust you through the process. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not into thy own understanding, but in all thy will lean not into So, Lord, we're not in you today. We're not leaning on our own understanding. Lord, we're trusting you. Saying, Father, that I have thy own way. Father, that I bless this family, meet every need according to your will. Because, Lord, we know that you're able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask and think. So, Lord, meet every need right now. And then, Lord, when you've done your perfect will, we'll give you all praise. Lord, Lord, we'll take no credit for ourselves. We'll say, Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you in advance. But we praise you even right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. 